We continue tonight our series of weekly reports on the opioid epidemic. Tonight we look at problems with drug data and a possible solution. Information on opioid use is often outdated, sometimes months, even years. As Jared Dillingham reports from ASU tonight, scientists say the secrets are in the sewer. Out of sight, out of mind. We don't think of what's lurking in the pipes below us. Sewage doesn't lie. But people certainly do lie when it comes to their drug use. And that's a problem because tracking drug use relies heavily on self-reporting. It's difficult to determine how valid those self-reporting surveys are going to be. Basically, people don't always want to admit of that course. they're taking drugs. Of course. Scientists led us into their lab at Arizona State University. What I have here is a sample of raw wastewater. Raw sewage. They have refrigerators full of it. No feces, urine, and stuff like that in there. Shipments of sewage come in constantly from 200 wastewater treatment plants nationwide. So this is what's coming in from all these treatment plants? Exactly. This Just this styrofoam? The sewage overnighted for immediate opioid detection. You're looking for results in near real time. Why is that quick turnaround so important? Well, because the opioid epidemic is an evolving monster. Evolving, moving through different neighborhoods with new opioids and more powerful strains arriving and drug awareness programs launching to combat it all. But until this sewage testing began, the data about opioid use and abuse has been severely lagging. We're always playing catch up. We don't often know what's happening until months to even years after that data is collected. Now the wait is gone. ASU turns a city's raw sewage into raw data overnight. You can take sewage from a treatment plant yesterday and by today or tomorrow it'll be in your lab going through analysis? Absolutely. The wastewater is put through a complicated high-tech process in the lab at ASU. The technology concentrates the sewage sample down to a couple drops inside this tiny vial. These few drops hold the secrets to a city's opioid use and abuse. This is actually where we put the samples for analysis. The samples are refined further. A machine called a mass spectrometer identifies the opioids and can even tell the concentrations of Oxycontin or heroin or fentanyl. Cities can use the data to target certain communities with new policies or to make sure first responders in high use areas are equipped with sufficient supplies of the antidote Narcan. Real-time results from sewage testing means hope for cities trying to fight the problem. And the work here is personal. I've lost two friends of mine over the past 10 years to opioid overdoses. They uh, both died before the age of 25. Meaningful research for people at the lab and useful real-time drug data for entire cities. In Tempe, I'm Jared Dillingham for Arizona's Family.